Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mole Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about uh, what to do when you find a stray dog. Unfortunately in El Paso, it is very common. Uh, we do have a lot of dogs running around. And the first thing that you should do is, one, make sure that you keep yourself healthy. Um, obviously you don't know if um, you know the dogs have vaccines, a rabies vaccine, intestinal parasites, um, anything like that that could potentially harm you and so the first thing is to make sure that you're safe if it's aggressive at all uh, the best thing to do is to contact the authorities uh, which would be animal control their number is 842-1000 um, if it's not aggressive then you know definitely take it in first thing to do is either to take it to animal control or one of the rescues or a vet clinic to have it scanned um, by scanning for a microchip, a lot of these pets we can get back to their owners um, if they are registered. Now a little tidbit about microchips, they are totally worthless if they're not registered. So for us in our clinic, um, we do do the registration, which is an additional um, fee to us, but we don't, you know, obviously we, we um, pass it on in a way, but we don't charge extra for the registration because we feel like it's extremely important that all pets have their microchips registered. But not all clinics register their microchips, so um, it's worthless if it's not registered. But basically, uh, first thing to do is make sure that if, see if the pet is registered or not. Um, if it isn't, if there's no microchip or if it's not registered, then you know obviously you can take pictures, um, post them all around your neighborhood, take them to animal control, to the rescues. Um, the best thing to do, unfortunately, even though we hate to do this in our heart, but the best thing to do is to take it to animal control because because if we think about what if we lose our pet, um, we're going to check animal control, we're going to check the rescues, we're going to check um, lost and found uh, pets on Facebook. And so if you start posting pictures everywhere um, at those locations, then you have a much higher chance of getting the pet back to its owner. If it turns out that you've done all of this and um, you end up you know, not being able to find the, the uh, owners and you want to keep the pet, great, because all the pets in El Paso need homes. Um, but again, you want to keep yourself safe. First thing to do is a fecal test. Do a what we call 4DX. You don't know the history of that dog, so you don't know if it's ever had ticks and has tick-borne diseases. Um, we actually, unfortunately, had one uh, yesterday that was rescued and we spayed it. Um, and then it had a reaction and had some uh, blood loss, not internally, but just the, where it was destroying its own blood cells. And, um, you know, without knowing the history of the dog, it's hard to say what their health status is and so luckily everything turned out well with the pet but it is important to know if they do have any tick-borne diseases um, or anything like that that's going to pass on to any of your pets or your family so get get the vaccines get a deworming um, get a fecal test and uh, obviously get the 40x so that you know if it has heartworms or any other um, tick-borne diseases that might be an issue and that way that can be treated and the pet can be a new happy and healthy addition to your home you can get it spayed and neutered remember we have the discounts this month um, and uh, you know have a new addition to your home but the main thing when you very first get it is you've got to take it to animal control you've got to see if it's owned by anybody um, because we all you know are ethical and we want our own pets to come home to us if they're lost and um, the only way we can help out with that is to take those pets to animal control and post pictures up at all the rescues and on Facebook at the Lost and Found, Lost and Found Pets of El Paso. I hope this helps. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.